crops dying, earthquakes, floods. The economy collapsed because of all those natural disasters. But a lot of the blame went to mutants, homo superior. Some call them the next stage in human evolution. Others, a threat to our very existence. So now we've got these purifier cults springing up everywhere. They say they're humanity saviors. Well, someone's got to do it. We X-Men will work with local and national authorities to keep the peace and to deliver help where it's needed. And the Brotherhood of Mutants will protect its own. One man could have brought sense and sanity out of this chaos, but Charles Xavier is dead. Struck down when he and Magneto faced the menace called Bastion. The Professor's dream died on that day. Without him, the X-Men just fell apart. But Mr. Summers, what about the school? Right here, right now, the school is just a target, Pixie. We'll rebuild it somewhere else. The government's Mutant Response Division has deployed 10,000 troops in the Bay Area and moved its Telos Com satellite into orbit above the city. Commander Reyes, do you think the MRD presence here will diffuse the tension, restore some kind of normalcy to the city? That's our role. What about Magneto? Magneto has not been seen since the Bastion incident. Everyone lists Magneto among the missing, but he's still out there. He's just deciding on his next move. Between mutants and purifiers, San Francisco is a virtual powder keg. What will it take to bring calm? Who will be the voice of reason? Hello everyone and welcome to X-Men Destiny, an action RPG, but it's kind of more of a beat-em-up. Now we are only going to play as one of the characters and choose one of the powers, and we're going to do so on hard mode. Because frankly hard mode makes the game look better. This character is the only one with interesting dialogue, so that's why we're picking him in particular. This character's select screen takes place at an in-progress rally, which I think is pretty cool. When the muties finally got me, I died as a man should. Protecting his country and his people. Mutants are nature's greatest mistake. We are God's true children. It is your sacred duty to protect the world from these demons. You hear me? Yes, Dad. I hear you. And you won't disappoint me. No, sir. Make your species proud, boy. Make your father proud. Mayor Sinclair, citizens of San Francisco. You have seen your city retreat to two separate enclaves. Professor Xavier stood for integration and unity. Today, we honor his memory and his ideas. Today, we all stand together! I guess Magneto just gave us a vote of no confidence. This is the power select screen, which I also think is pretty damn cool. The powers are mostly interchangeable, with some slight differences. We're going to choose Shadow Matter.
You all right, bro? Don't touch me. Looks like we got ourselves a muty. Wait, no! I I'm Take this freak out at the knees. We're on the same side. You're all right. Take a deep breath. Who... who said that? Don't be scared. I'm Emma Frost, and we're talking mind to mind. I'll cut you through this. The important thing is to focus. The power we picked Shadow Matter is the offensive power, you could say. It deals the most attack damage. You've got it. Don't forget to breathe. Attention, all mutants are to be detained for questioning. Never mind that. I say we just take them all out. It doesn't make very much sense for Adrian here to be destroying purifier propaganda considering he is a purifier, but it gets us extra experience, so whatever. Try jumping. Why are you standing still? So slow, pay attention! Follow Quicksilver. So this is a pretty shitty day for Adrian so far, isn't it? All of the AI partners will actually attack enemies actively, and they do a pretty good job at killing them too. You have powers, you better learn to use them. This is an unforgiving arena. I'll project a marker for you. Can you see it? It's good that Emma's being so encouraging. So we can block using the R1 button, and we can also parry if we block just before an enemy strikes us. The enemies tend to telegraph their attacks pretty well. Like these purifier guys with the stun sticks, they jump way in the air before they attack you. Oh no! More purifiers are flooding in! Most of the combat in the game is going to be just like this. We'll have a set number of enemies to defeat, and after we defeat them we get a cutscene. That or we get more enemies to fight. Thanks for the backup. You're Iceman. An Omega level mutant. And an X-Man. Looking for an autograph? Not exactly. Just as well. Left my pen in my other suit. Why did you attack a whole squad of purifiers? The odds were against you. Kid, they're the ones who are doing the attacking. They're well armed, too. The rally attack was a provocation. You can understand them trying to keep the streets safe. Right. With automatic weapons and preemptive strikes, I feel safer already. People are panicked all over the city. Someone has to restore order if the MRD can't. It's exactly how they want us. We have to keep moving. Make sure to check alleyways and rooftops for any mutants in trouble. I never saw your power in action before. It's... It's impressive. Well, this whole thing is new to you. I can tell. You did good. I'm sorry it has to be under such circumstances, but... We stick together, right? We? Mutants. Yeah. Right. So what happened to you guys? The X-Men. I mean, I thought you guys were East Coast. We lost our base, and the man who brought us together in the first place. Charles Xavier. Yeah, Professor X. Hard to believe he's gone. He set up the X-Men in the first place, didn't he? He was the most powerful telepath the world had ever seen. He found us, he brought us together. How did he die? 
the same way he lived, fighting for peace. Bastion struck him down. Who's Bastion? A robot. Kind of. Most of him, anyway. He came from the future on a mission to wipe out mutants. Where is he now? <laughs> He's scattered debris. He lost that fight. Okay. Better keep going. Fight the good fight. I'll see you around. Other mutants are trying to find a way out for us all. Hang in there. So Iceman isn't taking any of Adrian's shit. That's also the first really long conversation Adrian had about being a mutant, even if it was only mentioned briefly. He understandably seems uncomfortable with it, but we don't know how long he could possibly keep denying that. Get to the bridge! Get everyone to the bridge! So many people are in a panic. The psychic noise is deafening. I need your help to search. Purifiers aren't the police, kid. Climb or clear out of my way. Hey! What? You want to stand around and talk now? The purifiers are here in force. Did you see? They're kind of hard to miss, and believe me, you don't want to get in their way. The purifiers only fight mutants. I'm not a mutant. Right. Well, by all means, stay here and tell them that. Listen, that was a mutant atrocity back at the rally. The purifiers are just trying to keep order. Did you fall on your head or something? They're attacking anything that moves, you idiot. So, are you heading any place in particular? Ha! <laughs> Lost, are you? Yeah, you looking. I'm not gonna slow down for you, kid. Keep up or fade out. I'll race you. You punk, kid. Follow Toad. Climb. You can do it. So the platforming in this game is, uh, I kinda hesitate to call it platforming. It's all ledge grabbing, it's like the most simplistic Prince of Persia clone you could possibly imagine. It's pretty good luck that Adrian only encountered Iceman and Toad, because if he encountered someone like, say, Juggernaut, he might have gotten his face pounded in by now, you know? You can see that getting hit just a few times lowers your health a lot, but it's not exactly easy to get hit as long as you pay attention. Don't tell us what to do, Emma. We can get health from these little green canisters. I don't know what's in these, or why they refill our health, but they do. I need your help. I have a lot of scared mutants here. I've never seen so many muties, mutants, in one place. Help them if you can. Oh, hey, it's time to talk about one of the more interesting mechanics. We just got an X gene, and all X genes give us abilities. This one, the, f the further our M power meter is filled up, the stronger our ice skin and the less damage we take. And we can also look at our mutant powers in here. This one is just our combo tree, which we can upgrade with those experience orbs we get from killing purifiers. Or not kill- it's really unclear. The combo we just bought in the mutant power menu lets us perform an uppercut by pressing square and then triangle. It's only really useful if you're targeting a single enemy, but it does keep them busy if they, say, have a gun. I've been looking forward to seeing your work firsthand. Purifiers! Like I said, how well this ice skin works depends on how full our M power meter is. Our M power meter is that meter below our green health bar. And it's constantly full right now because we have no use for it. So that means our ice skin is going to be at full all of the time. The enemy layout in battle is generally not very smart, but they still know to put guys with guns further away than the guys with batons. 
The guys with guns are the most threatening enemies so far, though we can usually dodge out of the way of their blast pretty easily with the dodge button. We're not going to be using the dodge button a whole lot, but it has its uses. Holding up pretty well. We shouldn't stay here too long. We have to clear a path out of here. I guess you weren't looking forward to meeting me face to face. You know what I am. I know who you were. You still have to choose who you're going to be. Where are the police and the MRT? They can't coordinate. Some sort of interference wave is affecting all electronics in the city. But the purifiers seem awfully prepared, don't you think? These are my people. You know that, right? They're only attacking me because they think I'm a mutant. Because you don't meet their ideals of racial purity anymore. Adrian, you have to accept that things have changed for you. I won't join you. I won't be a part of your mutant nation. You can still work with us. Work to defuse this situation and bring the city back from the brink. People are saying Magneto started this. Well, we can't rule him out. He thought the peace rally was just papering over the cracks of human mutant tension. If he did do this, he's made his point. This is too much. It's too fast. I wish I could reassure you. What's happened to you marks a break with your life before. When you change, change in the very core of your being. Everything else changes around you. All I want to be is what my father taught me to be. That's going to be hard now that you've turned into the thing he hated. Whatever happens, you aren't alone. We should keep moving. We'll have to slip past them unnoticed. We'll cover more ground if we split up. You go that way. Good luck. Oh, and thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 